A while back I made a video on a 6502 logic analyzer I had prototyped. Since I made that video I've done some further work on the hardware and software and wanted to give a short update. To the software I added the capability for more advanced triggering based on an address or data read or write or either or on the level of some control lines such as reset, IRQ or NMI. You can also set a pre-trigger value that determines how many samples are stored before the trigger event. I also added support for some additional processors. As well as the 6502 and 65CO2, it now supports the Motorola 6800 and 6809 and Zilog Z80 CPUs. For a more permanent solution, I designed a printed circuit board. Similar to the prototype, it has the TNC 4.1 microcontroller and four level shifter chips. The dip clip to the CPU being monitored attaches via two ribbon cables. The wiring is different for each of the CPUs, so the board has separate header connectors for each CPU type. Because the 6502 and 6800 are almost identical in pinout, they share the same connectors, and a couple of flea clip jumpers need to be set, depending on what CPU you're connecting to. Other headers are for the 6809 and Z80. You can set the CPU type at runtime from the command line interface. I've now used it with my single board computers for the 6502 and 65CO2, 6809 and Z80, as well as this 6800 based Heathkit trainer. This was a fun project and I found it very useful for debugging hardware issues and bringing up new board designs. As always, the hardware and software is freely available from my GitHub account including Gerber files for the printed circuit board.